So, on this beautiful day, at least up here in the Northeast, are you cowering inside? Are you watching the news? The coronavirus sweeps the nation as this epidemic pandemic just destroys life in its path. Are you in dire <gasps> Or are you realizing this is a bunch of bullshit yet? Are you realizing this is an encroachment on your rights? This is a a rollout of the more controlled system. The takeover, of course, and changing of the economic system and banking system that has already occurred, really. Uh, we're already nationalizing everything. National socialism. We want paycheck checks to be handed to everybody. Everybody's getting paid by the government with their helicopter money soon, right? We want that because, you know, we don't understand what that is as a, as, as a group, as a population. Although you can, you see, people really need to be getting angry. Um, and I'm not talking about stomp your feet angry. I'm talking about digging deep after realizing how dark this is. Realizing that your government did not shut down the entire world and put out, send everyone to their rooms to protect elderly people from a flu. The flu has been killing people for years. Has the economy ever stopped before? First of all, you need to understand, too, that this shit isn't laying on doorknobs and countertops. Uh, it, most people don't realize that you know, you don't need to get sick. If you not only keep a healthy immune system, but you avoid stress and worry over nonsensical shit, uh, it, that toll on your body does not occur, which is where most illnesses come from, from stress, environmental factors of things we eat and breathe, but fear. And if you're in fear mode right now, oh, you're going to get sick. You're going to catch a little cold. <laughs> And you're going to see it might be Corona. You're going to look at that person in line behind you who, who sneezes or coughs. Oh, jeopardizing my health. <sighs> With your fucking Darth Vader masks and your six feet red lines between everybody. You know, I did a video yesterday and it didn't fucking go up. Um, it got all messed up and wouldn't go up. And then I couldn't retrieve it to put it up. So I couldn't redo it because, as you know, I just kind of do these videos uh, it's not really scripted, so I couldn't really sit down and try and reenact what I said. So I just said, fuck it, I'm not doing it today. I wasn't going to do it, that was yesterday, I wasn't going to do it today either, until I really started to just look around. People are starting to come out. I'm in my truck, I wanted to be outside, but my neighbors are leaf blowing and lawn cutting and all, there's all kind of noise going on, which is a good thing. But if you try to walk over, <laughs> you can see the look of terror. You know, I think people around the corner I saw outside wearing masks and gloves. People are using the park across the street, throwing the football, wearing masks and gloves. They got the whole slide and everything corded off with yellow tape like a Terminator movie. They got the, the pickleballs and the basketball. While well, the pickleballs are locked up, there's a fence. There's nothing around the basketball. That relies on see something, say something. That relies on the neighbor going, excuse me, officer, there are people violating, oh, my wife just pulled in, there are people violating the social distancing requirements, the necessary to keep me safe. I need you to come over here. Because that's where it's going to go unless we wake the fuck up. Are we all going to turn on each other like we've all done in history? Are, are people going to shout for, as I continue to use the analogy of Barabbas, the, the evil that is put forth by the system? Are people going to choose that over the, the way, the truth, and the light? The truth here is we have been overtaken publicly now by a nationalist socialist world government in a world that has been run by these psychopaths for millennia. Now they're stepping forth and telling you, hey, we're God. We're going to see all. We're going to decide all. We're going to hear all. We're putting up all of our shit everywhere. And you won't do anything that we don't deem fit because we're God. We're the rulers of this world. That's who the fucking uh, um, fake person is or whatever you stupid 
prophets are, or you will be deceived by the, it's government in and of itself. The fake God of this world that thinks it has a right to rule over you, your master. Are you its subject? Do you love subjugation? Do you like that? Do you like sitting at home going, what are they going to do? I can't wait to get this poison needle in my arm that they just made. I have no fucking idea what it is. I don't know what the disease is. I don't even realize how viruses really spread. I just want to do what I'm told. And anybody that doesn't do what you're told, they're, they're, they're the devil. They're, we we got to get them. Stone them. The lepers and the, the heretics and the, 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 the uh, uh, all through history, over and over again, stone him, you know. I saw stupidity of people. I saw, finally, I guess it's been going around, but I try not to pay attention to stupidity too much. But I saw the guy yelling in Brooklyn from the window, flatten the <laughs> using the words, flatten the curve, go home, flatten the curve, Duh! You know, it's a shame somebody just doesn't start throwing rotten tomatoes at that guy, but regardless... That's the mentality that we're going to face. You see, it's going to be that first before they send in all the police to take your rights and military to take your rights. See, first they're going to come in to police the battle that they're setting up between the scared, the fearful, the uneducated, the ignorant, and the sheep against those that don't want that poison shit in their body, that want their freedoms, that know this is bullshit, that have been speaking about this forever. Then, of course, there's that crowd in the middle. Trusting the plan, the debt jubilee, the good guys in the white helmets, and just sit it out. Anybody that's feeding into this doesn't know the plan while your rights are being taken away on paper. Department of Justice uh, wants to take, suspend the Constitution, uh, arrest people indefinitely without charge or trial. You got fucking... Military coming in and putting up medical tents. You know, yeah, we've had medical tents. They're called internment camps and concentration camps. But eh, close that book. I don't watch that movie. I don't read that novel. I don't remember that historic event because that might make you realize what's going on around you. And then you'd have to actually step into the truth, the way, the truth, and the light, and be that, that, that Jesus figure and stand in the truth no matter what. But... Again, this is where I compare it as well. How many people, how many disciples of Jesus, and I'm using these allegories for a reason. I'm not even talking about the historic figure or if you look at him as a deity. It doesn't matter. The stories remain the same. The allegories remain the same. The parables remain the same. The morals remain the same. And if you don't understand that story, it is the people choosing the evil that the, that the system put forth over the way, the truth, and the light. They've denied Jesus. First of all, in that mob mentality of screaming Barabbas, but then his own disciples who betray him by selling him out for silver pieces. There's your Judas story. How many people are going to do that and jump into the new monetary system without a care? I'll take my vaccine. I'll do whatever you say. Just give me my gold and silver and Bitcoin and um, revaluation numbers so I can just live. And then, of course... There's those that will just, in fear, out of fear, deny, deny Jesus, deny the truth. Uh, wait a minute. He used to be an anti-vaxxer. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I got mine. I'm getting mine now. Here, here, everyone. Here, everyone. That's denying Jesus, you know. Will the people even hear? Those people even hear the cock crow? Probably not because they're so entrenched. In the art complex of survival, being fed by that mammalian limbic system of emotional stress. Ah! All being programmed. This is about taking back your own mind, about understanding what these people are capable of. They don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about old people. They want to piss on your rights. They want to rule over you, and they want to do it openly. They've wanted to do it for a long time. If you really look at this in some small logical way and think of the illnesses and and deaths and things that go on, wars, things that these government ignore, part governments, all of them ignore, partake in, um, you know, champion. Uh, you think that they're shutting down the entire economy and costing themselves billions of dollars because they want to keep you safe and they want to protect the old pensioners who they refer to as useless eaters? Because this is going to turn, you see, this is going to turn to not only you taking that vaccine before you go anywhere. It's going to be your kids. Your kids 
oh, well, you know, they're young and we, we don't want them to have to. No, this choice is going to need to be made. And people will, again, choose the truth or the lie. And divisions will occur between mothers and daughters, fathers and sons, brothers and sisters, just as it says in the Bible, the truth does. And as Jesus said, I come to bring a sword. And he also says, if you do not have a sword to sell your cloak and buy one. He's not Mr. How you doing? Peace be with you. Peace be with you. In church, Jesus was an activist fighting for the freedom and rights of all, explaining the in authenticity of the authority of man and speaking out against the slave system, which was religion and politics, and the money system in which he flipped over the table, took out a whip and kick some ass, which is what got him in trouble, got him arrested, and got him crucified. While his disciples, many of them hid, while the mob mentality chose Barabbas and cheered on the death of the truth in their world. The truth was sacrificed. Are we going to do that again? Or are you going to embody the principles that were taught by any of these deities I only, again, pick Jesus because that is what I was brought up to mostly understand. But I certainly never gave my power over to some deity who was going to come swoop out of the clouds and save us. And I certainly didn't come here to say, well, I'm just here to then go to heaven. And then it's all, no, you're here again, as Jesus said, to create heaven on earth through your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions aligned with righteous behavior based in truth, the understanding of true objective morality, not initiating harm against one another, not supporting things that initiate harm against one another, but out of fear for, oh, I can't get the coronavirus. I have kids and I'm susceptible. How many people will sacrifice other people's lives who are out there trying to speak the truth. In fact, they'll cheer it on again, as they've done in the past. Where does that leave you? Where does that leave me? Well, if you're actually awake, it leaves you standing in truth and whatever happens to you happens to you. You don't silence yourself. You don't go along with the program. You don't uh, sit in fear of some fake ass virus flu that's going around and goes around every damn year. Did they tweak it a little bit so people get sicker? Because I got news for you. Once the vaccine comes out and Things roll on a bit. Oh, a lot more people are going to get sick. They can make people sick at will. They're spraying the sky. They got all these poison frequencies in the air. The food's full of shit. The water's full of shit. And you can make yourself sick. It's all up here. If you worry about nonsensical fears, that takes a toll on your body. It takes a toll on your immune system. And believe me, you'll get sick. And then it'll be coronavirus. These people know how. The body works. The mind works. This is all psychological warfare. And anybody that isn't screaming that this is an encroachment on rights, that's all this is right now. A tightening of the belt and the taking away, attempting of the taking away of rights. Again, in this country, it's a little more difficult because if people do get wind of it, we are an armed country. Unlike places that are being shut down now, like India, uh, of course, what they did to Italy, you know, of course, the one of the places that won't go along with their economic plans. Uh, oh, and Iran, too. Oh, that's just bad luck, you know. Uh, but they can use it to sanction everybody and finish the project for New American Century and pretend to be helping them. These governments are shit, every fucking one of them. They're scumbags. They're, they're dark occultists who, in fact, are and have begun their darkest season of the year, the occult season of sacrifice. You know, the dark occultists that understand the season of sacrifice, the occult season of sacrifice, um, and and believe in it and go through with these rituals every year, don't give a shit if you don't believe in it. They don't give a shit if you don't want to know it. It's what they're doing. Uh, I'll say kudos to Jamie from A Plain Truth For You who put out uh, um, an excerpt of one of Mark Passio's old shows um, explaining you know, 45 minutes or so of the occult season of sacrifice and what it means and how it works. Um, I see in the comments, though, this is why I don't turn comments on. In the comments, though, Jamie's a flat earther and everybody that's a lot of people that listen to him are flat earther. But Jamie has the intellect, the intelligence, the heart and the understanding to put out a collective information and not just to to uh, sit there and and only look at people who believe in flat earth. Because Jamie's actually a smart individual, unlike the people in the comments who go, oh, a globular 
teacher in a flat earth channel all talk about hypocrisy. Uh, I stopped listening to Mike Passio when he started talking about that this is what people are worried about. Let me tell you something, flat earthers. I don't give a fuck if this is a circular parallelogram. They're coming after all of our rights. So maybe you can get out of your little details of what the shape of the earth is. By the way, you're wrong. But whatever. You know, study other things besides this dome and lid. And, but I don't give a fuck what you believe as long as you understand that our rights are being attempted to be taken away, and you stand arm in arm, shoulder to shoulder with other people and say no, the lost word, the word that people are afraid to say, and then believe in any damn shape of the earth you want, but again, flat earthers, for some reason, if you believe in a globe, if there is one lie in it, it's all a lie, because they're stupid, they don't understand the truth is riddled in things and lies are told on purpose, sweating now, it's hot today, are told on purpose to misread the reader. But you can't look at that and pick out what's true and realize, oh, there's the poison pill. No, it's all a lie. It's all a lie. Let me go to my Flat Earth channel and only watch the Flat Earthers. You know, I'm not a Flat Earther. You know how many Flat Earthers I watch? Because a lot of what they're talking about is real and true and accurate. Should I go, oh, I don't believe in the globe. <laughs> I'm not going to believe anything because it's all a lie. Get out of your fucking first grade mentality. Get out of the recess yard pointing fingers <laughs> at people and grow the fuck up. And realize it's time to become a real man or a real woman. Stand in truth. Defend truth. Defend freedom. Defend righteousness. Defend your children. Arm up in all ways, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically, and stand in what is right. Because if you comply to this bullshit, it's all over. And you will turn into fearful mob mentality, screaming for Barabbas, causing people that, of course, pretend to be awake to deny the truth or to sell out the truth, um, as has occurred many times in history. Understand the stories you read. Understand them. Stop externalizing them into someone something did 2,000 years ago. You're supposed to be doing it. The man even says that in the Bible. Anyway, look, I know I, I, I want to come on and be like, everybody, it's cool. And yeah, yeah, it, it would be if I didn't look around and see so much stupidity in the world. I had a, um, and then I'm going to go before I sweat to death. I had a uh, cashier today somewhere not wearing gloves. Oh, I loved her. I loved her. I wanted to hug her. I wanted to kiss her hands because I'm sure she was supposed to, but she's not. And she ain't spreading no fucking virus, you dumbasses. Oh, got to report her spreading the viruses. Shows that you don't study medicine. You don't study science. You don't study um, psychological warfare. You don't study anything. You just watch fucking TV. Rick Williams, Channel 6 Action News. This pandemic sweeping the globe, infesting houses, going up people's assholes, and just fucking up their lives. Coming up at 11. And the weather's fake too, Rick. Yes, sir. Jill, you know? This is, what's, this is what people are sitting at home fucking watching 24-7. Instead of taking the time to go into that dark place and realize, you know what? Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. This don't make sense. That don't make sense. I don't give a fuck if the stock market is up 1500 right now. That's how this works. They can't helicopter money out to you if you're not confident in it. You're not going to accept it. And then it's going to plummet. That's why all these people are put in place. And if this thing takes months, it's all about indoctrination and slowly getting you used to this and people getting sick of it and turning on each other. It is psychological warfare, history 1-0, motherfucking 1. And too many people are falling for it. People need to be together, you know. It's the thing that they want to take away most is human interaction. Humans growing in in getting together in groups and talking and laughing and hugging and kissing and making jokes and drinking beers and going to sporting events and doing parties and dinners and concerts and whatever the fuck people do to be together because that's who we are. You're going to let them take that away. Your kids aren't allowed to play with other fucking kids right now because other parents are, I don't want to get the coronavirus. So they're sitting them inside uh, 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 pretending to keep them safe while they sit in fear watching Rick Johnson. Channel six action news. You know? That's choosing evil. Sorry whether you realize it or not. Doesn't matter. It's the choice you make. That's why you need the truth, so that you're making 
choices properly. And you have to accept that truth. Unlike many people I know who are refusing to accept it, others are. But in the end, how many people really will when you look around at how many people are staying home, are not out with their businesses open, are not out driving around, walking around, walking their dogs. We have a few, don't get me wrong, but everyone should be out. Everyone. I, I just drive around for the hell of it now, just to be out. <laughs> um, everyone should be in non-compliance with this, questioning this, speaking up, having their voice heard. Whether or not you look crazy or, or, or whatever you think, why you're being quiet about it out of fear or what people think. and This is real shit. This is the future of humanity we're talking about. We're either going to come out of this free or way more enslaved than you can possibly imagine. What do you choose? I love you guys. I love everyone. Um, I don't love the sheep mentality. And I don't love the the fear-based mindset that people are in. But I know they have the ability to come out of it. And hopefully, more people are than I realize. Because the silent majority is a lot of times silent until they have to speak. We'll see. Love you guys. Get learning. Get speaking. We'll see if this one works.